Hello everybody and welcome back to my lab. Today we're going to be talking about x-ray microscopy, which is my main tool. I'm an application scientist for uh, this product line. So what we have in front of me is an x-ray microscope, also known as a CT, a computed tomography, a microcomputed tomography, similar to medical industry. They have, you know, you have a CT. What it consists of is an x-ray source, a detector, and a sample stage. And the sample stage actually rotates. We'll discuss about that later. Um, it is a very simple, easy to use instrument. Um, it's considered non-destructive testing. And non-destructive testing is very important. What that means is I can test a sample and when I'm done, it's exactly the same as when it went in. There's no cutting, there's no dicing, polishing, you know, what, you know, it, you get out what you put in. Um, and the sample prep about this is what I really love about it. You just stick it in. There's very little sample prep other than finding the right stage you want to use and putting your sample in there. Um, this is a small system. If you want a bigger system, bigger sample, we have a bigger system. So that's really all there is you know, about an instrument, an x-ray source, sample stage, detector. Now, x-rays, you know, people are a little bit worried. Um, 100% safe. Um, there's lots of lead shielding in this. There's no x-ray leakage. It's in my lab. I work in here all day. Um, there's no there's no issues. There's no regulations. It is 100% um, safe instruments used. So that being said, let's move over to the instrument. We're going to run some samples today. So um, this instrument is really good for lots and lots of things. Um, Material science, you know, everything mainly falls into that category. But you get like pharmaceutical, medical instruments, um, geology, um, polymer research, uh, a whole variety of things. What I'm gonna focus on today is archeology. span um, That's been a hot topic recently. I've had some, a lot of samples that come in recently. And archeology, span archeologists are starting to look to X-ray microscopy, you've seen uh, images on the news and stuff. They x-rayed some uh, uh, mummies in Egypt. Um, today I'm going to focus on a little bit simpler thing. We're going to talk about pennies. Okay, um, This is really a good uh, substitute for some of the things we've seen in the field where we get this object that's encrusted, that's beat up, um, and we want to see what's inside. We want to take a look at it. This is really important for archaeologists, for conservators. You know, They may get hundreds or thousands of artifacts from a, from a site and you have limited resources. You only have a few, you know, you only have a limited amount of time to work on stuff. So this is a quick technique where they can look at what's good and what's bad. Is this a nail that was, you know, 50 years old or is this a, um, you know, some rare pottery that is a two or 3,000 years old? You can actually see a lot of that information here on the microscope. Um, and on top of that, the, part, the process of conservation may actually damage the material. You may scrape off or remove material in the cleaning process. So this way you can leave it all behind. You can see it as is. And if there is going to be an issue, then you know that maybe this isn't the right sample to fully conserve. You may want to leave it this condition. You may think that this is not even worth conserving, or you may go, this is ideal. So. Um, let's get ahead and I'm going to take some uh, images and show you how the system works. Let's close the door, um, seals off the room from the x-rays. X-ray source on. We know that my light is on and I have a little yellow icon up here that says x-rays on. There is my sample. And as you remember when you had it in the sample chamber, it was just looked like this rock. It was just a piece of clump of dirt. I actually immediately can see right through it. Let me rotate it really quickly. Oh, there's my dirt. It's tilted a little bit. It's not a problem. Um, and we're ready to go. The software is really simple, easy to use. Um, you give it a couple of parameters. Uh, sorry. Rotation step. Sorry, you give it a couple of parameters. Things like rotation step, 
um, and um, some averaging. So the sample stage, like I said, it's a, it's a rotational stage. So you rotate the sample in 180 or 360, collecting x-rays along the way. You'll collect hundreds to a few thousand x-rays, depending on the detail and how complex of a, a sample it is. Um, and then the software, it's a, when you're done, the software is going to take all those x-rays from a 2D image. They're going to reconstruct a 3D model, X, Y, Z pixel density. So we can actually see those images, and we can use those and extract information out of that. So I've actually done all that with their samples. So we have four pennies for you today. We have a fresh one, two with very um, various levels of damage, and then the fourth one, which is completely encrusted and hidden in a piece of uh, um, and, and dirt and grime. So let me pull up sample number one. That is our brand new penny. So this is a brand new penny. It looks good. You can see it. It's shiny. Um, the color is actually artificial. I can set the color to anything I want. I like this color. Um, but you can actually use the color to enhance um, various aspects of the, of the sample. You're working with a mineral or a piece of rock with various um, di different uh, minerals in it. You can, you can color each mineral for, you know, see where they are. You can actually use that in a data analysis program as well. I can go through and I can characterize and calculate out how much of each mineral is there. So this is pretty boring. Um, I can spin it around. Show you it's a brand new penny. It's got the new Chevron design. So let's go to sample number two. That would be um, a penny with some corrosion. And this was interesting in the fact that there is corrosion here on the side. And the corrosion is actually hiding some of the lettering. I can't see some of the words. And there's, there's just coloration in a couple of places. Um, so let's see what other information we can get out of that. So. So this is the penny with some um, tarnish, some damage, some corrosion. And with the first thing that jumps out at me is I can actually read the word liberty here, and I can't read it on the penny. Um, so underneath this greenish corrosion is um, the word liberty. And I can also see pitting here. This pitting is damage. is probably where the corrosion is coming from, that it's actually eating down into the penny. Um, and I actually noticed there's some corrosion, some damage up here in uh, Lincoln's head, and there's some damage here on his forehead. And when I look at the penny, I get exact match to that. So I can actually tell you that, you know, there's damage here. It's corroding on the sample. Um, let's bring up third penny. Now the third penny is actually heavily tarnished. It's, um, you know, really dark brown. Um, and there's um, some pitting. There's some actually some white stuff on the surface. Um, I don't know what's there. So when I bring it up, <laughs> you can actually see I have some massive holes in this penny. When you look at it like this, you don't see that those holes. They're not there to the visible eye. Um, but I can see I've got these huge pits. And actually, you can actually see down to the bottom here inside of the pit. So I can see that they don't go all the way through. If I flip it around, 180, look at the back side. Back side looks pretty good. A little bit of pit there, a little bit of pit there. So we can say that um, we have surface damage that doesn't go all the way through. So if you're doing a failure analysis type, uh, um, you know, failure analysis work, you can you know, start to say what's going on here. Maybe there's a problem with your sample. So that was a lot of, uh, that was really cool, really good information to know. Um, uh, I couldn't tell that just by looking at the penny. And the final one is the one we have on the stage now, where we had our, our penny wrapped in muck. We couldn't see anything other than we had rock. So let's pull that one up. And immediately, we see we have a penny. Um, it is uh, in great shape. Um, let me adjust a filter here. 1962 Denver. It's all right there. Um, I can actually read this one a little bit better than some of the other ones because the older pennies are a little bit have a little bit more material and they're stamped a little bit deeper, so the words jump out a lot better. 
And there you go. We have a brand new penny. We can see it. We can read all the information. And um, we could never have done that without it. Uh, you don't, and like I said, we didn't even have to clean the penny. So I hope you learned something from my talk. Um, thanks for watching my video. Have a good day.